Hey guys, welcome back to Artec. Today we're going to review the Trunic 48 inch Full HD Smart TV. So a bit about this TV, uh, it's made by Trunic, an upcoming brand. This is available on Amazon exclusively and this model is the S50. Um, it's a 40 it's a 48 inch TV it's got a Samsung panel apparently uh, they do provide uh, a magic remote we'll see that later it's also uh, you know Wi-Fi certified it's got a Wi-Fi built-in it's got uh, full HD resolution and it's also an Android TV so all this is available for a price point of about 37 K million rupees a little more than $500 in the US uh, currency so uh, going back to the TV, let's have a look at uh, some of the connectivity options and the you know controls. So there are the controls, volume control on the side. Typically, most TVs come with that. Uh, you have uh, three USB ports on the side and one HDMI port along with component inputs as well as uh, SPDF inputs on the side. Uh, we also have the RF input which no one uses these days. At the bottom of the TV, you have the LAN port, you have an audio out port, you have two HDMI, and again an AV in port along with a VGA. So, uh, very good setup. Nothing faces the wall, so very easy for you to use. It consumes about 125 watts of power, and uh, the power cord is fixed, so that means you cannot uh, take that off. Okay, so uh, it's got two down firing speakers. They look like six to eight watts. They haven't mentioned it. You have the infrared port in the middle of the TV uh, with the red LED. So the speakers are pretty decently sized. Um, they they sound okay. I I think they should sound okay. Uh, here are the metal stands, uh, good quality, and uh, slightly different in design. So you should like it. So the remote is pretty simple. It's got uh, some of the common functions that every other TV remote has got. And uh, they've also thrown in one of the highlight features of this TV. That's the magic Android keyboard remote. It works on 2.4 gigahertz and it has a dongle, which you need to plug at the back of your TV. And uh, we did uh, do a review of this on our other video for the uh, smart TV which is full HD and 4K as well. So it's the same remote they're giving you with this TV as well. Uh, it, it can be very really useful for you to type in something on your TV like your browser or YouTube channels. So the magic mouse option is really awesome. You can just point it across the TV and you can just click anywhere you want. And it's got the left and right click option on this particular remote. So pretty functional remote. I think they throw this away for free. It can work with any Android TV. Uh, here you can see some examples which we shot earlier. Really convenient for you to type. It's got two space bars as well. Runs on three batteries. So this is something to look out for. Manual is pretty simple, it's just a white booklet. It's got some of the key features mentioned inside. So that's the television. Let's have a look at the bezel. It's slim, not one of the slimmest, but it's pretty decent. There, uh, There's the A-grade panel on it. So that means you can actually uh, be sure that you know nothing's gonna happen to the screen. If you tap on it, uh, that's the look at the back panel again. The TV's got a very sleek design at the back. Doesn't look like it'll accommodate a lot of dust. So it's got the logo right there in the middle. So let's go ahead and turn this thing on. So that's the red LED below the Tronic logo. 
Okay, so that's the logo again on the screen once you uh, put on the power button. And uh, this again looks very similar to the OS from the View TV 48 as well. The same kind of OS, it says Smart TV. I think they all have the same motherboard. So uh, this is the home screen typically. You have the browser, media center and application mall which is basically your Play Store. And you have the options of the connectivity on the left top corner. Very simple interface, nothing specifically difficult to understand here. I'm using the magic mouse uh, with the remote that they provided. Very easy to navigate using that. Okay, so let's go ahead and see the options at the bottom. So here are some of the pre-installed apps. I, I I think there are a lot of apps here which you may not want to use like Facebook or WhatsApp. Uh, Play Store is actually installed and it looks like the official Play Store which is really awesome because with the View TV it doesn't work. So here it asks you to add a Google account. I'm not going to add one now but nice to see that it has a Google account option for the Play Store. It's not using the mobile one Play Store. Okay, let's go back and then you can see some of the other apps here let me show you guys so it's got skype twitter whatsapp and youtube youtube's installed so that's one of the other apps which you might use a lot let's go to the settings just wanted to show you yeah this has got uh, Wi-Fi options. I'm going to connect it to Wi-Fi a little later. So let me show you some of the other specs of the TV. So it's a 4.4.2 Android TV. It's got a 1 GHz processor into 4 quad-core and it's got about 512 MB of RAM which is more than enough for this TV. Let's go ahead and connect uh, to the Wi-Fi network. So I'm going to select wireless, key in my password quickly. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and play YouTube just to see how the app works here. Most of the third party apps don't work well on YouTube but let's see how this works yeah this looks like the official version of YouTube I'm not going to sign it and um, it immediately opens this nice red bar on the left okay it's asking me to upgrade it but I said I'm going to say it later so yeah it throws up a bit of content here let me quickly play something so the, this mouse, uh, the magic mouse feature on this Android remote is so awesome. It makes it so much easier for you to move across. So I'm going to play this song right here. Let me see if it works. Yeah. So um, one, one thing I couldn't find here in this uh, remote or anywhere else is the option for me to select the resolution. So okay, let's go back to the browser now. Okay, uh, I'm just going to see how clear it is, and it the panel is really clear. I think they are right about it. It, it is a Samsung, so there's no problems with the panel as such. I know you can't see it as clear as I can because I'm recording it on another device. So it, the pages load decently. The text is clear, the images load quite well. I think there's no problem with the browser at all. So this is this is a good TV for browsing as well.
So let's do some uh, media check. I've, I've plugged in a hard disk and um, I want to see if we can play some content in full HD. So I'm going to quickly forward this to show you guys. Okay, let me pick something and uh, uh, I'm just trying to get something. Okay, let's play Elysium. I, I played the same clip on my 4K review of the Trunic. So it's a standard Android player. Loads pretty okay, no problem. Yep, the, the picture quality is awesome. There's no stutter, no problems whatsoever. Plays well. So to sum it up, you know, this TV is pretty much what you can get uh, for that price point and it's got a decent OS. It's got some of the key apps that you need like uh, YouTube and uh, some of the other official apps from Google. It's got the play, it's got the Google certification to run these apps. So that's really awesome. I like that feature in this TV. And uh, this is a 48 inch full HD uh, with decent speakers and uh, it's got a lot of connectivity options 3 HDMI you know to a uh, 3 USB as well so it's it's really feature rich for this price and along with that I like the gesture that they're actually throwing in a magic remote it's, it's still a good thing they're doing it's it's really helpful for you to navigate across pages so this this is a good gesture from Trunic so that's all we have today from our tech for you for the Tronic 48 inch full HD TV. Please do subscribe if you like the video, give us a thumbs up if you like the video as well, and you can leave us your comments and we will try our best to answer all your questions. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye bye.